as I was writing this up, uh, it occurred to me that there are actually two other calculations that I want to ask you to do, and I've added them into the handout, but I've printed them out or written them by hand here. One is, uh, well, really, we want to calculate our brew, the brew ratio. But before we can do that, we need to calculate the mass of water used. And to get the mass of water used, you need the mass of the clean, dry, clever dripper with all including the water minus the one right before it. So for this brew, uh, it's 646.2 minus 277.9. Those are grams. And if I get my calculator here, I get 368.3 grams, and that's M mass sub water, water used to make the coffee. That's the number that's used in the brew ratio. Uh, and the brew ratio is going to be mass of water over mass of dry grounds. And for our first brew, 368.3 grams over, the one for that one was, got it written down here somewhere, Ah, 23.7 grams. And remember, I was shooting for 15. And I hit 15.5. So not too bad. Now what we can do is a couple things. One is uh, we're going to fill in this table from our coarse coffee, and now that I've got my 15.5, that was my brew ratio, and we're gonna keep track of this just to see that it's about constant. Our grind time was one second. Our ND, our refractive index, was 1.3339. And from that, we calculated our percent TDS coffee, Percent TDS coffee was 0 0.74 for this. Pretty bad. And our percent extraction was 10%. So, and I also want you to plot these values in for post lab question number one. Plot them in this table. And let's see. So, my first one was 0 0.74, 0 .7, so there's 0 0.7 and then 0 0.8, so I'm about a little less than halfway there, and 10%. So, and uh, this box here is the coffee chart, or the brew control chart, excuse me, where ideal is right in the center, and I want to get an idea of where I am, and unfortunately, I am way far away, which perhaps is not that surprising because the coffee was so coarsely ground. And what we can do is we can work on ways to get closer, and as we do more uh, fine grinding, that's at least one way we can expect to get more percent extraction and a higher TDS total dissolved solid percent. Other things we can do, of course, we'll work on in future labs, but uh, if you increase your extraction time, that will lead to higher percent extraction and, well, so higher percent total dissolved solids in your coffee and higher percent extraction. Um, and then there's a host of other variables, such as increasing the water temperature. Um, I know there are other ones. Um, but I can't think of any right now, but we'll keep working on it.